when I first came uh, in the late 60s, and I came as a prospector, a pro an amateur prospector, but uh, I came with a friend of the families who owned uh, mineral claims around here. And in that process of those visits, I met Cougar Annie and uh, became hooked, you might say. I returned here regularly every month for the next 20 years. And then in 1979, Cougar Annie's son, Frank, drowned in his fish boat nearby. And he was her main supply line. So at that time, I was the only backup available. So some say that Cougar Annie, I would have been her sixth house husband, but uh, <laughs> she was a bit old at the time. 1983, Cougar Annie left here, was taken to um, closer to civilization because she was having troubles. And she died in 1985. No, I moved here in 1987. It's only then that I thought of restoring the garden, which was uh, totally overrun by then. So it was a literal jungle, and uh, I decided to just clear away the main pathways and things like that. The extent and diversity of her plantings was much more than she, uh, anyone had ever imagined. I said, well, I'm going to go for it and uh, try to restore the entire uh, property. That process took 16 years. The garden is now totally different than what it was when Cougar Annie was here. It's, I turned it into a maze. There's 2.3 kilometers of trails in the garden now, whereas Cougar Annie would have had only uh, four or 500 meters. It's perfect growing conditions in the garden. You probably felt today the heat waves in the garden. Uh, these huge thousand-year-old trees around the house here block the uh, sea breezes that otherwise would make it too cool to plant up there. You can never plant a garden down by the beach here. After I decided to give it a go to try to restore the entire garden, I knew it would take a great deal of time. And I knew that at the end of it all, unless I had an exit plan, uh, maybe George should get one too. <laughs> uh, uh, unless I had an exit plan, uh, I, uh, I would be out of energy, out of money, and everything. I, thousands and thousands of people tried to do the same thing Cougar Annie did. But the coast became just too tough for them all, except for Cougar Annie. And the Crown deeded the property. If you did a certain number amount of improvements, the Crown deeded you the land, 120 acres, and... Uh, <coughs> But it was too much for everyone else. And they just abandoned ship and the, and the properties reverted back to the crown. So there's a, if you look closely on the atlas, you'll see that there's only two harbors in that entire stretch of land. And one is San Francisco Bay and the other is Hesquit Harbor. And because it's a harbor, you can always get around the foreshore. And because there's logging around here, you can get around on the logging roads. And that takes you to every ecological unit that uh, the temperate ra ra uh, rainforest offers. I didn't have an uh, overall gang game plan. I don't, everyone thinks this was a great visionary thing, but visions are probably made rather than, you know, formed, uh, preformed. So you just slowly evolves into this. There were some turning, major turning points, but uh, most times you tell people what you're about to do and they don't believe you anyway. So. You just go ahead and do it, and uh, it has been a difficult life. You know, you have to leave a lot behind to be out here in the middle of nowhere, and, and uh, it's, it's wonderful on days like this and all through the summer and spring and fall, but the winter is, an, is really hard here. The boardwalk, here, uh, the one that connects the field study center with the garden is 700 meters. Three foot wide shakes, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. <laughs> You can't get that at your lumber mart. <laughs> and, you know, they got to the point where I had a bit too much in, in this thing. I had all my retirement savings and everything, so I had to bring in new energy at that point. And uh, Ecotrust seemed to be an excellent partner. And every day in a place like this, you, you see something new in nature. It's amazing. It's, it's down to the bug level or, or, you know, that type of thing. But uh, 
Even yesterday, the dead sperm whale on the beach, that was quite a treat. I'll be around for a while. <laughs>